Good afternoon. In this video, I just want everyone to listen to uh, Brian's double talk uh, from his own words, from his own lips, and how in one video he can contradict himself. He was 1850 in his video, the Five Stages of Sanctification. They'll talk about the same things that the people out in the world talk about. You enter the average church building on a Sunday morning and talk, listen to the conversations and go down to the local gas station, it's the same conversations. Oh, Donald Trump just got elected. What do you think he's going to do? How do you think he's going to do for the president? Boy, I heard there's going to be a lot of snow this weekend. Did you get your Christmas shopping done? Hey, da, 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 da. Yeah. When you get truly saved, you will, will take stands, and you will want to talk about Jesus Christ. Take stands that you wouldn't have done in your lost life. You will, you will take stands. That's exactly what he said by 1926 in that video. So let's move on here to... Uh, about 119 here in this other down the video. I'll show you the New Testament tie in. Second Timothy chapter two. Second Timothy two verse eleven. Second Timothy chapter 2, verse 11 and 12. It is a faithful saying that you don't have to worry about this promise being broken. In other words, for if we be dead with him, we shall also live with him. If we suffer, he shall also reign with or we shall also reign with him. If we deny him, he also will deny us. You can live your life down here as a Christian and just do it for yourself and never worry about sanctification. Just push sanctification out of your life. Get that? And just get by by the skin of your teeth. Go to the judgment seat of Christ and watch all your works burned up. But you're not going to reign with Jesus Christ for the millennial kingdom. Now, remember, he said, this is a guy who said, you will. You will take a stand for Christ. You will do this. You will do that. If you're really saved. His own words. Same video. Or you can choose to do right. And you can choose to say, you know what, Lord, I don't know, even know what it's going to cost me. But at whatever it is, whatever price I have to pay, I'm willing to pay it. I'm willing to pay it. This is the guy double talk. This is nothing but double talk by this guy. And uh, the fact is, is uh, this is, he doesn't know what he's talking about. And uh, from his own words there, it shows that in one video he'll contradict himself. He doesn't know about salvation. He thinks God, God has to look at your contrite heart to be saved, when in fact it's believing on the Lord Jesus Christ to get you saved. Uh, and he uh, thinks that uh, you will show your change. You will do this. You will do that. Because you're coming to, according to him, you're coming to God, God to get, get a changed life. That's why you're coming to God. Remember, that's the whole idea. You come, you're broken, so you want to stop doing this. You want to stop doing that. That's why these guys preach, preach, uh, preach repentance of sins. Then you get to the end of the video, and what does it say? You can set, you can set a sanctification aside. You can be saved and not do anything. You cannot, you cannot, you live in, live in the world and not have one thing to show for your, your life on earth in eternity in the judgment seat of Christ. He said that. He said that in that same video. And you wonder why he's criticized as a double-talking liar, a con man, who's basically just conning people out of their money when he sits up, as he sits up there in Maine talk, 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 crying about his problems. This is a con man, and his own video shows that. You will live a changed life. I want to stop, Lord. I want to stop this. I want to stop that. I'm going to stop this. And that, therefore, you're going to change. You, the world's going to, you're not going to do, talk the same way the world talks. And then the same part, in fact, he goes in there at the end of the video. What does he say? Oh, but, but uh, you, you, don't, you, you, know, if, you, know, you don't have to do that. The Christian can actually set aside sanctification, stop sanctification. This man has real problems. And he needs to be, uh, 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 if, if you're dealing with, if you're involved with him, get away from him. Get away from him. Because this guy is a disaster. He thinks suffering is only have to do with maturity. A lot of suffering is done be, from discipline and judgment and, and self-induced suffering. 
It has nothing to do with God uh, 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 bringing suffering on you. It could be the fact that you, you all, you, your own suffering is being created by bad decisions, or in fact you're in a, a, a sin state, and uh, God is judging you on the basis of that, not on the basis of maturity. Suffering has different aspects to it. So this is his own words. And again, uh, one here, he, you will, as a Christian, you will do this and you will do that. And then the later part in the video, oh, well, no, you, you can set sanctification apart and go to the judgment seat of Christ and, and uh, just get saved and, and to get to the judgment seat. And then, of course, oh, I made a mistake. I didn't really say that. I didn't mean that. Uh, anyone's uh, going after my words and that. They're just after me, they're after my ministry. Okay, stay away from this guy. Stay away from this guy. He doesn't know what he's talking about. He doesn't got salvation right. He doesn't have the Christian walk right. Uh, he's involved in all kinds of weird stuff. And he needs to be avoided. And certainly do not send this guy any money. Amen. Thank you.